Welcome back sa ating discussion sa Parallel Sisters. Additional sa mga natalakay natin before about dun sa characteristics ng isang short circuit and open circuit, merong mga cases na yung isang resistor natin sa parallel resistors ay magiging shorted and magiging magkakaroon tayo ng open circuit. So, unahin na natin yung sa short circuit. Suppose na meron tayong uh, circuit, parallel resistors connected, and then let's say yung R sub 2 natin will be uh, shorted or R2 is a short circuit. So, meaning to say R2 will be equal, will be equal to 0. So, anong implication nun? Anong mangyayari sa mga current natin? At tignan natin yung ating uh, formula, the current divider principle. If R2 is equal to 0, anong mangyayari kay I1? So, R2 is equal to 0. Okay? R2 is equal to 0. I1, of course, yung total current na papasok sa ating node. Okay? And then R1, may value tayo nun. R2 is equal to 0. So, 0 multiplied by the value of I1 divided by the value of R1. I sub 1 is equal to 0. So, yung I1 natin dito ay 0. How about sa I2, anong mangyayari? So, if R1, meron tayong value ni R1. Meron tayong value ni I1. R1, meron tayong value. So, R2, 0 yan. So, R1 um, over R1 is 1. Okay? So, kung ano man value ni R1 natin, divided by R1, that is 1. Multiplied by the total current, okay? Therefore, I2 is equal to I, or the total current. Meaning to say, yung ating total current ay hindi siya magfo-flow sa branch ni R1. Iba-bypass niya to, rather magfo-flow siya dun sa shorted branch natin, which is yung sa uh, branch ni R2. It follows that the uh, current uh, tend to flow the path of least resistance. The path with least resistance. So, ganun ang principle. So, dahil mababa, okay, or zero ang R2 natin, and we have R1, so instead of flowing here, ang gagawin, dahil ang behavior nga ay dumaan dun sa uh, branch na may re least resistance, dito siya. Dito siya magfo-flow yung ating R uh, yung ating I total. So, I1 is 0. Wala mag-flow sa I1 natin. But, may mag-flow sa ating uh, branch na kung saan R2 is equal to 0. Next, uh, how about our equivalent? So, if you will get the equivalent resistance of this two circuit, okay? So, ito yung formula natin. R1 may value tayo. R2 is 0. Okay? And then, R1 may value then. R2 is 0. 0 multiplied by R1 divided by R1. Our R equivalent is equal to 0. So, kailangan natin tandaan yun. Kapag shorted yung isang branch natin sa parallel, okay, uh, automatic na dun magpo-flow yung ating total current. Ayan. Okay? And yun yung current na dadaan sa kabilang, uh, and yung kabilang branch natin, walang dadaan na current doon. Kasi, ang uh, path, or yung flow ng ating current, ang sinusundan niya lagi is yung path na mababa yung resistance. Also, okay, yung equivalent resistance natin is equal to zero. Now, how about kung open circuit naman yung ating isang branch? Okay, let's say ito yung figure natin. So, si R2, instead of kanina shorted ngayon open circuit, meaning to say, yung ating uh, material dito is air, which has a large value of resistance. So, that is infinity. So, definitely, it follows pa rin yung ating principle na magpo-flow pa rin yung current natin doon sa least resistance. So, yung total current natin ay magpo-flow siya doon sa branch ni R1. Kasi kung masyadong malaki yung resistance natin kay R2, therefore, yung I total natin magpo-flow siya doon sa branch R1. Okay? Therefore, I1 is equal to the total current. How about the I2? Wala nang dadaan the current sa branch ni R2. Okay, now, if you will get the R equivalent of these two circuit, okay, kung R2 is actually kung open yan, meaning to say, um, wala tayong ano dyan, wala na tayong makukuha ang R value. So, if you will get R, uh, the total, the total, resistance that is equivalent to R1. We can verify that by means of taking the limit of this equation. R equivalent is equal to R1, R2 over R1, R2. Okay, we uh, note that uh, R2, okay, approaches infinity. 
Ayan. So, we obtain by application of calculus, we obtain that the R equivalent is equal to R1. I repeat, ha? Kapag open yung circuit natin or yung branch natin sa isang parallel circuit, yung ating current ay magpo-flow dun sa kabilang side. Okay? Kung saan merong resistance value na mas mababa kasi yun ang tendency ng uh, flow of current natin. So, ano mangyayari sa kabila? Ang current na dadaan doon ay zero. Okay? Plus, take note ha, meron tayong open circuit voltage pa rin dito. Okay? Meron pa rin open circuit voltage dyan. And then, ang R equivalent natin is equal to R1. Okay. If you will substitute uh, the equation of conductance in terms of resistance, okay, yung or the equation of resistance in terms of conductance, ito yung makukuha natin formula. Okay, kung ang mga given natin ay naka in terms of conductance. Now, what is Y delta transformations? Meron tayong dalawang transformation na ginagawa para makatulong para masimplify yung mga circuits natin. There are cases na complex yung ating circuits natin and um, it would help if we convert uh, the circuit to one form to another. So, merong dalawa. Yung una is delta to Y conversion. Yung isa naman is Y to delta conversion. Not necessarily makikita nyo na naka-arrange uh, yung ating mga resistors in such a triangle na form. But makikita nyo they are connected. Okay, in terms of three nodes. For example, okay, wala muna ito, itong ating Y, yung nasa gitna, wala muna yan. Okay, the original circuit, for example, is we have a, a connected resistors in three nodes. So, pa Y siya, I mean pa delta siya. Okay, we want to convert, okay, it would be helpful if you convert the connection in terms of Y, ayan. So, how can we do that? We have actually equations. So, if we want to get the, the, the uh, equivalent R1, R2, and R3 of R, A, B, and C, we can use these three equations. If we want to get R1, okay, that is equivalent to the product, okay, yung dalawang katabi na resistor divided by yung total, yung tatlo, A, B, C. Kapag R2 naman ang hinahanap natin, ang kukunin natin equivalent. So, multiply mo lang yung dalawang katabi niyang uh, resistor, C and A, divided by yung total pa rin. Ayan, uulit mo lang yan. And then, yung R3 naman, kung ito ang kukunin natin, so RB times RA, divided by yung total. Ayan. So, kailangan lang natin talaga yung mga formula niyan. What if baliktad? Okay. Why ang given? Kailangan mo namang E delta. Okay. Kailangan mo naman delta. So, kung gusto natin kunin si R sub A, ang gagawin mo lang is um, yung sum ng product ng 2 at a time resistors. So, R1 times R2 plus R2 times R3 plus R3 times R1. Ayan. Pare-parehas yan sa numerator. Okay? Ngayon, ang pinagkakaiba lang isa sa denominator. So, yung RA, ang nasa denominator niya yung katapat. So, that is R1. Okay? Ngayon, kung kukunin mo si RB, okay, this is RB, ano ang katapat niya? Ano ang katapat ni RB? R2. Ayan. And then, si RC naman, kung kukunin mo si R3. Si R3 yung katapat niya. Ayan. So, ganun mas madaling i-memorize yung ating mga conversions from uh, delta to y and yung kanina, um, y to delta.